Hello again, Doc on the clock with more. Mega Man 4, Ridley X Hack 7. And I am really hoping that. Oh, okay. Oh, man, really? Well, I've got a lot of lives. But. Yeah, I'm not super fond of this. You know what would be really nice is, you know, some kind of uh, a background graphic or something that warns you which way you should be going so that it's not literally guess and pray. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hyper mode go. That's all the bosses taken care of. Now it's Wily to take care of. He shoots three, and then I have to do it. Otherwise, I'm safe here. Gets regular Wily. Yeah. Okay. I'm only so good at dodging his shots here.
And we have to let him escape because, dang it. But that was basically not much different from the regular. Since, you know, all the weaknesses were the same and everything. Let's go ahead and finish off uh, Mr. Wily Saucer person thing place. In some sort of bastardized version of uh, Wily 3 from Mega Man 1. And there are worms. I believe they're called Imorms. Which is a name. I haven't got infinite pharaohs, so I have to be careful. Sticks around for longer at some points than it is others. Yeah. There we go. Alright. And at this point, just one little shot should work. Yes, it does. And we are finished. Finished with Wily, finished with our castles, finished with the game. And that's the end of Ridley X Hack 7 for Mega Man 4. I was prepared for the worst after Ridley X Hack 6. I thought it was going to be a complete and utter disaster because that one was. But it looks like Ridley X went back to his roots and designed a game that was fairly straightforward and not particularly difficult. And short by two stages, essentially. I'm really not sure why he just didn't make any stages for Toad Man or Pharaoh Man. I mean, I know that the original Mega Man 1 only had six stages, but I think you could have gotten away with, you know, maybe making a stage in the style of. On the other hand, the stages were not direct recreations, but clearly semi-recreations, so maybe that's where that came from. I mean, a lot of those screens, you have to admit, looked very much like the originals. They weren't always in the same order, and there were some variations on them here and there, but... Yeah, pretty much that was what was going on. Anyway, there were some spots I wasn't so fond of. The Rush Jet spot and the Wily stages. Um, that feels like it's made for the keyboard. I play on a controller, I can't do the keyboard, so... <coughs> I'm not a fan of that. Uh, but... Really, on the balance, it was a pretty easy game. Um, and it felt fun and enjoyable and uh, didn't it especially frustrate me. And you know, that's a very good thing. I do not mind that. Well, if you thought we were done with Ridley Axe, no. <laughs> 
at, at the time of this recording, he's up to 11 for Mega Man 4. I still have four more to do. I don't know how many I still have remaining for uh, 5 and 6 and 3 at this point either, but uh, I'm pretty sure I have at least one of each. So there's still going to be plenty of Ridley X. Is it going to be the good and fun Ridley X, or is it going to be the um, uh, I hate you with a burning passion Ridley X? <sighs> we will only find out by playing them. Well, I won't want to find out by playing them. You can go see if you can find them uh, uh, playthroughs elsewhere. And your prerogative. That's fine. I don't care. You don't have to be blind going in. I just have to be. Anyway, that's all for me for this game. Until next time, until next game, this is Doc. I'll see you later.